welcome in. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. We're zooming off the mountain early this morning. We're going to go check out this milk cow. So as you know, previous video, we sold our two bucks and the gentleman has a milk cow and he's mentioned it to us. And uh, so I'm not sure what we're going to do here. Um, and I'm not sure how much I'm going to film. Uh, there's a deer coming down the mountain right here. Let's make sure it doesn't run across. See it right up there. I do not. Right, yep, right there. There she is. She's trying to figure out how to come on down. <sighs> Gotta keep your eye out around here now. But we called him back and I said, can I come? He said, you can come anytime. So I called last night and he said, just come on in the morning. So that's where we're headed. From what I understand, she is um, part Jersey and part um, Holstein. I wanted to say heifer, but uh, she's not. But, uh, and she is bred, and apparently she is going to be due pretty soon. So I'm going to go get the particulars on this situation. And it's really important that you evaluate, you know, any animal that you're going to take in potentially on your farm. You need to find out, you know, blood work and history and has she been milked. I, did, I already did ask that, and they said she's really gentle and, you know, really easy to get along with and cool, easy, breezy, but she's never been milked. So that's another whole dynamic in this puzzle that if you've never milked a cow before and she's never been milked and you don't know what you're getting into, you could have a disaster. Um, but we were very successful with um, breaking Miss Bale in and being able to milk her. So it may not be that difficult for us because we've already done it, but it doesn't mean it's gonna work. But nonetheless, we've done it before. So we're gonna go see and check this out. I don't know how much I'm gonna film I don't know if I'm going to want to be interested. I'm just taking you along for the journey because, you know, we're not looking for this per se. We've talked about this before, getting another milk cow. But uh, this opportunity has presented itself. If she's, you know, been very well kept and she's bred and on the way with another one's on the way. And, uh, you know, it might be a good situation for our farm. You just got to go and investigate it. So that's what we're headed to do. And we're going to take you along. just left and we're talking about what we're going to do with this baby and you can clearly see she's uh, probably going to be calving soon so what we're doing now is we're all trying to work out how we're going to do what and um, I'm headed down to get her some really good feed um, she is a Jersey Holstein and she definitely takes on a bit more of the Jersey so the fact that she is uh, springing on the back and her bag is filling up um, I don't know the exact timeline because she was just, you know, let loose with the bull and uh, she clearly took and this would be her third baby and um, so I am headed to the co-op right now, my wonderful farm supply store and we're going to get the best feed that we can get for her that we always feed our um, 
like we fed Belle when she calved. Uh, we want to be prepared uh, because I'm not sure if, if how we're working this out, but because it's Saturday and nobody's open on Sunday, we want to make sure that we have, are prepared uh, and having everything that we need for this little baby. All right, guys, that was a fast moving afternoon. We've got Miss Lovey here on the farm. Now she's bleeding a little bit on her ear because we took one of the tags off, but I've sprayed it and treated it, it's really good. So you can see we're gonna be really busy over the next couple of weeks. Let me show you this back here again. Um, baby, I think maybe. Happy New Year, it may be. Like Miss Bell, Miss Bell is super excited. We're really excited. Everything is safe, great, and healthy. We'll keep you posted on all these positive things coming here at Appalachia's Homestead in 2020. <laughs> it's about to get busy. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.